So the first thing that stands out to me about this question is that it is a diagram question because we have this triangle that is provided. So what I like to do anytime I see a picture, even before reading anything, is just I want to label any other information that I can. So for instance, uh, this angle here I can figure out because I know that, let's call it X. I know that X plus 34 degrees plus 41 degrees, right, the three angles of the triangle, must add up to 180 degrees. So then, therefore, X degrees plus 75 degrees is equal to 180. And when I subtract 75 degrees from both sides, what I get is that X is equal to 105 degrees. Of course, you could have done all of that in your calculator. Um, I just wanted to show it to you by hand. So here, I know that angle A is 105. So I also see that side AB is 25 units. It looks like it's asking me for side CB, which definitely looks longer than 25. Um, AC, if I needed it, also looks longer than 25. But there's no real way, um, at least not immediately, for me to figure out the lengths of those triangles. So now that I've labeled the 105, I'm going to read the question. So the question says, in triangle ABC, shown below, the measure of angle B is 41 degrees, the measure of angle C is 34 degrees, and AB is 25 units long. So we saw all of that already. Which of the following is an expression for the length in units of BC? Right, so the question mark. Note, now be aware that anytime a note is given, right, this is a very rare thing. You don't usually have notes on the ACT. So when it's given, you're going to definitely need to use it. So the note says the law of signs states that for any triangle, the ratios of the signs of the interior angles to, okay, so here we go. So ratio on this test means fraction, right? So we're talking about the ratio of the signs of the interior angle, so let's say sine angle A, for instance. So since it's a ratio, I have a fraction bar. The ratio of the sines of the interior angles to the lengths of the sides opposite of those angles. Okay, so that would be sine A over question mark, right? Um, are equal. So the all the ratios, plural, are equal. So that means that I have sine A over question mark should be equal to sine angle B over AC, let's call it, should be equal to sine angle C over AB. So what I want is a, so this is just a translation of the note, right? And maybe you've learned the law of signs in school. I'm assuming or treating this as if you have not learned it. So we're just like translating exactly what we read from the note. So when I rewrite this with the information that's been provided, I'd say, well, the sine of 105 over, I'm going to call my question mark X instead of leaving it as a question mark. So sine 105 over X is equal to the sine of 41 over AC, right? Sine length AC is equal to the sine of 34 over 25. Now, because I want to figure out what X is, and because I don't know what AC is, and because they're all equal to each other, I could turn this entire statement into just a proportion that says the sine of 105 over X is equal to the sine of 34 over 25. I don't really need this middle step First of all, because I don't know what AC is. Second of all, I'm, I don't care what AC is. I really care about what X is. And because these equal signs mean that each of these things are equal to each other, um, you know, I don't have to have that middle step there. So I can just set them equal to each other. And now I can solve for X, right? So to solve any proportion, which is what this is, right? One fraction equals another fraction. To solve a proportion, we cross multiply. So what I'd have here is 25 sine 105 is equal to x sine 34. Since I want to get x by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by sine 34. Leaving me with x is equal to 25 sine 
105 degrees over the sine of 34 degrees, which looks to be answer choice B.